Tens of thousands came here to Southern Illinois University in Carbondale to watch the total eclipse. Some came for fun, some for the science. Here's Adriana Diaz. Totality was a golden opportunity for NASA scientists like Lou Gallo. This is game day. This is like the Super Bowl of eclipses. They gave Super Bowl worthy wars as the U.S. caught its first eclipse glimpse in Oregon. It's amazing. It's fantastic. And because of the potential for data collection, NASA covered it like the big game. They aimed 14 satellites, flew 10 airplanes, launched upwards of 70 data collecting balloons, and deployed telescopes along the path of totality. This piece of machinery here is called a heliostat. Including this trailer sized mobile telescope. <laughs> the eclipse does more than turn day into a 360 degree sunset, says Michelle Nichols of Chicago's Adler Planetarium. It brings scientists closer to unlocking the mysteries of the sun we depend on for life. The temperature of the bright part of the sun that we see, it's about 11,000 degrees. Temperature of the corona, several million degrees. What's going on to cause that? We don't know. And so when the moon completely covers the sun, we get to study that part of the corona. Why is it important to study the sun's corona? I mean, the most simple answer is we're explorers. Uh, we've always been explorers. It's, it's in our genes. Um, and so we explore the universe. Even though Carbondale only got a clear shot of totality for about 10 seconds, NASA scientists told us they were able to collect valuable data in that short time, which will add to the information they gathered nationally. They said the results of that data could take months. Anthony? And those 10 seconds were mighty impressive, Adriana. Maybe that's all there was, but it was great.